Hey everyone, welcome in, Echo Hack here. Now we're gonna take a look at my Necromancer and we're gonna make a brand new build. And I'm gonna, go to, I'm gonna kinda go through my process here and talk a little bit through it and just show you kind of how I put a build together and uh, what I'm thinking when I, when I put a build together. Now, there's a build idea that I've had for quite a while. So first, let's go and start with the skill tree. Um, now right now, I have a bone spear oriented build, right? I've got five out of five bone spear. And you know, that's pretty interesting, but I actually really, really, really like bone spirit. And the reason I really like bone spirit is because of this last part of the description that says damage is increased by three X multiplicative for each point of essence spent casting bone spirit. So that means you have just this tremendous, you know, ability to continue to scale the skill by adding more and more essence or maximum essence to your character sheet. Um, and uh, I think that's quite powerful. The problem is, is that you kind of need a, a mana battery. That's 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 what we've been calling it at Max Roll. You need a mana battery to really power that, right? Because it costs all of your essence. So you better have a way of getting all of your essence back instantaneously always. So you need to have just basically infinite essence. And so the only way to really do that is through um, a shadow build. And there's uh, one main mechanic that's very, very good for doing that. And that is the aspect of the umbral. Now the aspect of the umbral is good even early on, but if you're using shadow with the aspect of the umbral, you can inflict essentially infinite number of status effects all the time. There's one uh, there's there's a couple of other pieces that make this build really interesting and viable. The first piece here is the Blood Artisan's Curus. With the Blood Artisan's Curus, we get four ranks of Bone Spirit. Uh, that can rank, that can roll two, two, four, by the way. And we also get this ability, when you pick up Blood Orbs, a free Bone Spirit is spawned. So we can actually get free Bone Spirits while we're restoring our uh, Essence, and we can manually cast them um, all at the same time. The last part that's really interesting is Blight. Now, Blight has this uh, power here that pulls in enemies around the affected area, and that by itself is CC, but it also gives us one spot on the ground to apply all of our CC to. So if we get tons of CC effects, we can just apply them in one spot. And then now, now that everything is grouped up, we can spawn a Bone Spirit and uh, blow everything up. So, there's also one more item that I really want to fit into this build. Now, this item is going to be a DPS loss, but all of my DPS is going to come from Bone Spirit anyway, so uh, I probably just need to find you know a stronger version of this item. But that's the Bloodless Scream here. Now, Bloodless Scream makes my darkness skills chill enemies for up to 40%, and then eventually chilled enemies become frozen enemies, right? So... Then I also have frost burns, and frost burns can freeze enemies. They increase the freeze duration. They have crit chance, and um, they can restore primary resource. So I'm like quadruple dipping down on the resource regeneration, uh, in in order to spend it here all on bone spirit. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna equip these, uh, and then. There's something that we really need. There's a pair of pants here. Do I still have them, please? Damage reduction by enemies that are affected by... Okay, that's actually... For unrelated reasons, this is actually really good. Because we're going to be using Sever, I think, with this build. Sever's going to be... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get to like what the skills are here in a bit. We need to like kind of assemble all of the, the powers here from the inventory. Next step is to go to the occultist, and oh my goodness, we are, we are very poor. I've been, I might need to go, I might need to go grind a little bit, y'all. Oh, how much is the refund? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, we are definitely not going to be able to extract um, at the occultist. So, okay, I'm going to cut this, and then we'll come back, and I'll have a lot more money. So we'll, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Uh, I I went and got a couple, well, 1.2 mil gold so that we could uh, do what we need to do. So first thing 
Uh, I would like to keep this for maybe my current build and just go ahead and equip this even though the resistances and all that kind of stuff is, is maybe not the greatest thing in the world. This, however, we need to extract this. So let's go ahead and extract this guy. Bingo, bango, bongo. And let's imprint it. So we're gonna imprint it over here. Consuming a corpse can spawn a blood orb. Cool. And then we have this. So, mm, This, let's just let's just equip this. I have some other testing to do, so I don't want to destroy too 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 much. Ooh, now we have a tough we have a tough choice here. So what does that get imprinted on? Oh, oh, this is the same thing as this. Never mind. Um, I'll I'll just hold this. That's fine. Uh, and then we have the yeah. Now we just need to equip this stuff. So bloodless scream goes here. Uh, this goes here. Oh, wait. First of fate goes here. And then... Okay, so this this is the items that we have so far. So we have Deathless Visage, which I know is for Bone Spear, but it also... Just look at the other secondary attributes. They're bone-related, right? Maximum Essence, especially. So we have Blood Artisans. We have Frost Burns. We have uh, this, which is whatever, except for the Consuming the Corpse for spawning the Blood Orbs. Grieves the Empty Tomb, Bloodless Scream. We have 180% uh, uh, Shadow Blight key passive. Critical Strikes from Sever spawn Blight. And uh, we have Umbral. All right, now let's put the skill tree together. We're just gonna hit a refund all on this. Spend the money. So I don't think the basic skill actually matters very much here. But if it did matter, we would go with Reap. Uh, now here, we actually want to... This is interesting, right? So we want to not do damage really with any of our core skills. So we definitely want Hued Flesh because we want to make as many corpses as possible. But we want to take Blight just so that we can do... Um, e just so that we can do um, Paranormal Blight to get the extra immobilize and the slow here, okay? And then we want sever just so we can get uh, get the vulnerability. And then we want corpse explosion to get the darkness corpse explosion. Again, we're not really going for damage here. We just want this for utility, right? We definitely want to pick up one point into Blood Mist. Definitely want to pick up Grim Harvest. Definitely want to pick up Fueled by Death. And then the Darkness skills. So movement, we take one point for sure. Then Crippling Darkness, hard requirement. Darkness skills deal more damage. I'm not sure I want either of these. We'll see how many points we get. Because we have to max out Bone Spirit. And I'm thinking that we take Dreadful Bone Spirit for the extra essence. Um, that will also proc on the free Bone Spirits that we get from Blood Orbs. Uh, I really like the idea of getting Fortify from, from our corpses, but I'm going to come back to that one. Because we need Serration, we need Rapid Ossification, we need Avulsion. Those are super, super, super hard requirement. Corpse Tendrils is going to be important. And here I think I actually take... Do I take the Blood Orb? Or do I take the Vulnerable? Now I don't have as many sources of Vulnerable in this build. Um, I have this Sever 1 and 4. Which which maybe maybe that's good enough. The fourth cast of Sever. Maybe that's good enough. Hmm. I'm not... I'm not entirely sure if that's good enough. Now, we definitely need to take Shadow Blight. 
uh, in the standalones, of course. And then we have four points left. Wow. Are already like complete or just completely out of points. So we need some source of fortify in the build. I probably am picking up Necrotic Carapace. I would really like to pick up Bone Prison with Blight, but I just don't have any room in the build for it. Hmm. What about Bone Storm? What does Bone Storm do for me? Well, it gives me some crit chance and damage reduction. The crit chance might be really important. Um, and then one into Necrotic Carapace. I could swap that around a couple of different ways, but that seems like kind of the basics. That might that might not be optimized, right? We'll have to play it to see how it goes. But certainly that's that's kind of the basics of how this goes. Now what's interesting about the Paragon is previously I had my Bone Spear build. And Bone Spear and this build are they're both bone builds. So sticking with the bone uh Paragon board here is probably still a good choice. Uh, is this taken somehow? Oh, okay, I took that. So let's go here, and then here, and I think I'm just gonna rush the next board. Okay, we're back. So I realized I had actually made a mistake. Um, these boots is what had my blight on it, and maybe I need to swap this around because I've got a lot going on. I've got these here, Greaves of the Empty Tomb. I would really like to fit these in, but obviously I can't do that while these boots are on. So I got a little greedy with my build. Um, maybe I need to swap these over to gloves and drop the frost burns, or I need to, maybe I can put these on legs. Um, we'll have to see. So yeah, figuring out exactly what should be where in this build is gonna be kind of interesting but yeah now now our interaction with uh crits from sever should work there's that so I guess what's hard about this build is you have to really be mindful about what's going on at all times. I also just have no mobility, holy cow. I have no mobility at all. Wow. So, hmm. I could definitely do damage, right? But I don't have... Mobility, I don't seem to have a lot of survivability. I'm, I'm only in tier three right now, right? My Bone Spear build is far more viable than this when it comes to survivability. So, maybe this becomes a little bit more viable with some more gear, or I'm missing, um, I, I don't know, maybe I detonate the corpses from blood mist instead there's like a couple of things you could do here right Let's see if we can get uh, like some good density going on here so here's this pull everything in oof yeah, without Bloodless Scream, that really just isn't generating anything, right? Can we... Do we have a Bloodless Scream on us? Okay, let's do that. Let's see what the difference is, right? Like, when we equip Bloodless Scream like this. Okay. <laughs> you kind of put your theory to the test. You see if it's viable. See, check that out. Now we have... Okay, we need the Bloodless Scream. That's like a hard requirement, right? The corpse explosion is like kind of slow, actually. 
And frankly, so is the sever. I don't, I don't know if I'm a fan of the sever. Like this, like getting a free blight is is cute. But like, why not just cast blight? Hmm. Got an idea. Let's just. Let's do this. So no sever. No corpse explosion. Oh, we, we need uh, we need, Maybe we keep corpse explosion. Oh, maybe I do what I said before and I just automatically explode the corpses with blood mist. That keeps me alive for longer, okay. And then, oh, I only have one point then. Uh, let's get rid of the bone storm and we'll go bone prison fortify so light on left click bone prison on E we still have a point Let's put it in, uh, where is it? Necrotic. So we have a little bit more fortify generation, yeah? All right. So, let's open up with a Blight. So that should just pull everything in. See how that, like, instantly restores our essence? That's pretty great. Now I'm out of essence, but, oh, wait. That's not spawning Blight. Oh, I guess I didn't... Did I not equip that? Well, we know what that would do. Oh man, look, look at that. My Bone Prison is already back. Did I just not equip it? Oh, here it is. There it is, all right. We need to test that, that's actually really important. So that's an important piece of this because if we don't have if we don't have any essence, we still need a way of sort of like generating, we, we have like bootstrapping from zero. So like we can do this and group everything up and then boom, now we're at that. Oh, um, we got cooldown limited. So we actually, we do actually need to spawn like a couple of blights in here just so we're not cooldown limited. Okay, that's an interesting discovery. So one thing that, that I'm noticing that's really nice about this now is that I have all this fortify, right? I have tons of fortify. And the other thing I'm noticing is that I bet if I had a way of fitting um, the corpse explosion in this, that it might perform actually pretty well. This is this is starting to work. Okay, that was 127,000 damage. This is okay. This this is this is the way to go. So anyway, that's this build. And uh, I'm glad you're able to take a look at it with me. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.